what's popping your girl is back with another video and today we're actually about to do another story time so let's get right into this video uh, so this story like i don't even think it's going to be that long like honestly it was today that inspired me to make this video because i really got cussed out today because i don't want to scam like what what <laughs> no okay so there was this guy and he just kept on and kept on and kept on dming me on instagram like kept dming me and at first i was like ignoring him like he was following me i wasn't following him and he was dming me then he hits me up and he's just like this is a dm that sold me <laughs> He's just like, what's your cash app? Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> so, I sent him my cash app. He sends me money. He's just like, go ahead, lunch on me today, blah, blah, blah. Like, he ain't sent too much. It was just like a little bit. But still, I'm like, all right. I guess I can reply to this guy. So... He's actually like messaging me and I actually gave him my number. So it's just weird and I feel like I should just stick, just stick to my intuition. Like if I feel like this person is not good or I don't want to like, that's what I should do because this guy was like scammer, drug dealer, whatever. And I've already told myself that I am not dealing with any like scammer, rapper, drug dealer, anything like that because no, it's just not for me. I feel like as a kid, that was what I was into. I just feel like now, no, I need you to have a legit job. I need you to have a bank account. I need you to be legit. Like, I need you to be on your stuff. Like, I don't want a project. Just like a lot of men don't want a project. As a woman, I do not want a project. Like, I need you to come all the way together. Like, no. So, like I said, um, I didn't necessarily think he was a drug dealer. I feel like more so he was a scammer for sure. So, he basically asked me on a date. So, I'm like, okay, what can this hurt? And then I have a list on my phone. I have a list on my phone for Houston. I have a list on my phone for Columbus. And whenever I want to go somewhere, I literally just get this list out and I just like pick somewhere off of there and I go. So, this guy had picked somewhere off of my list and not necessarily everything on my list is like five star or anything like that most of these places are usually places that are like super popular that are overhyped or like they might be cute for aesthetics might even be a bar it's like um but most of it is like high-end restaurants that's on the list so but this one that he picked it was not it's just more so a place that's like really popular here in houston so it was the breakfast club so um at the time this is when i'm like outside with my work so i take my laptop he comes picks me up we go to um the breakfast club to eat i did not like my meal at all well i won't say at all but i did not like my meal but the mimosa the mimosa was hitting they got some nice strong mimosas they got it in a little like carton and i was just like yes that's the only thing that I could give a review and it was a good review. Like the other stuff, it was like, I wouldn't go back for it. So yeah, that's how I put it. But him, he was eating it and he, he just liked it. So I'm just like, okay. So you know when you go on a date and it's just like, you know you don't see yourself with this person or You don't see it going nowhere, but it's like the person is kind of interesting. 
Yeah. So that's where we were. I just felt like looks wise, I was not I was not attracted. Um I just felt like he wasn't really doing enough that I would like him to be doing with his life. Um Honestly, I was wasting mine and his time. So I went on that day, um, went home. I don't know why, but we ended up going on a second date. And the second date, we were supposed to go out to eat to like Taste Bar. And I like Taste Bar. I know Taste Bar is good. So, you know, I came hungry. Like, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. So, this guy... Um, we're supposed to be going to taste God bar, but then he pulls up and he's just like, hey, like, I want to slide past this place. Like, um, he says he has tickets and everything. So I'm like, okay, okay. But he doesn't really have the tickets. So he gives me the money so I can like purchase the tickets on Eventbrite. And like I said, I don't like guys who don't got bank accounts. like why can't you get on your phone and do this yourself you know so anyway i do it it is a weed event like i'm not sure if it was 420 i don't know if that was in april or what but i just know it was like it was um a weed convention i don't know if i can say that on youtube or not but yeah so when you like pull up to this place, they had edibles, they had um, just it in like containers and it's just like, they had the exotic, they got the mid, they got, like it's everywhere. It's like, I don't even think I've seen anything like this on TV where I could like um, compare it to, but it's just like a lot of like THC, cannabis, everything is everywhere. like literally like everything like any type of accessories you want is all there so he's like um we're in there you know we're walking around at this point i'm just walking around with him because i don't smoke so i'm like this does not excite me nothing and then they were actually cooking in there and he had asked me if i wanted that food but i knew for a fact no like i'm still ready for the taste bar you know so it's time to leave now we're leaving and he's just like oh like he was talking to his friends and he's basically like we're about to go get something to eat and then i'm gonna come to the house blah 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 and it was like he was having a hope it was like a car full like it was a um, a truck and they were all like going to his house but he lived I don't know how many people he lived with to be honest like but i know for sure that the one guy that was in the car he lived there he was going there all them girls they was they was going with him so that was that um he tells him we better get something to eat and leave so the car gets stuck like because the way he parked it it was like i don't know how to explain this but i don't know if you've ever seen them type of streets where it's like, um, you can't really park in front of the house. It's really just yard. So it's like his tire like went into like a dip. So it was like, it took us a minute to get his car out. And then once we got the car out, I'm thinking, okay, like we're about to go eat. He asked me if I want to come to his house. I tell this man no. So at that point, he just takes me home no food I'm so irritated at this point because I'm like the whole reason why I came out the house was to eat was to eat and you're not going to feed me like alright so I'm like whatever I'm going to go home I'm like I'm about to get my own food whatever that's it cool so then this is the next day so 
this dude, he Apple pays me like $900. And I'm thinking, oh, he just wanna send me some money, you know, like not thinking nothing of it. He sends me the money and he's just like, hits me up and he's just like, hey, can you like go to your bank, get that money out of the account and give it to me. And I'm thinking, huh, okay, yeah, I can do it because since the last time when he didn't take me to eat when he was supposed to because I didn't want to go to his house, I did not plan on seeing this guy ever again. But I did not want to finesse him and like take his money because I would feel bad. But after this whole situation, I'm thinking I should have at this point. So this guy is supposed to be getting all the money out like from the ATM. So um he ends up keeps texting me like hey can you cash at this person this amount can you cash at this person this amount and i'm just looking like um okay so i'm cash apping these people and as we know this money is already in my bank account because we were supposed to be going to the bank and getting it and anybody, if you know, um, Apple Pay also takes a percentage when um, you deposit it instantly. Um, so it's not like it was the whole 900. So um, that happened. And then um, there was an issue with Cash App and um, to the Cash App transaction that he had asked me to send um, they end up coming out of my bank, but they didn't send to the person or like it was delayed when it sent it Like they got the money. It was just delayed But when it was time to take the money out of the bank He was trying to get me to give him the money that um, That I already sent out Like he's basically like since they didn't receive the money still give me that money and I know y'all probably thinking like, what the fuck? No, you wouldn't have did it. But I just feel like I'm such a non-confrontational person. I'm just like, you know what? You know, just take this. Once I get their money, give me my money back. Cause I don't even want to deal with this. So I do that. And after a while I can see that this man is like, he's not going to give me the money back. So I disputed with my bank. Usually Cash App does not, your bank does not dispute Cash Apps. Like once you send a Cash App, that's it. Like if you watch my other story about me getting finesse, you'll see that they usually do not dis do Cash App disputes. So I was a little salty, but my bank, they ended up refund me that he ended up hitting me up about it or whatever and I act like I know what I was talking about because I was still waiting for him to give me my money but whatever so at that point I had just cut on ties with that boy and I was done with him because I'm like no I just feel like you already not my type your drama your ghetto just everything but not to mention when we actually um, did this whole little transaction or whatever with the with the money, I ended up stopping by his house. But when I had stopped by his house, baby, that shit was a trap house. Like what? Like if you ever like looked on the on the counter and it's just like water bottles and shells and guts and weed sprinkle there's a little bit of lean in the cups there's baby bottles like unsanitary and then it's like okay they got like one little couch and then like a tv and then like nothing else in there and then the room that I guess that was his room, he got a blow-up mattress. Like, ain't nothing in there but a blow-up mattress. 
Then when you go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom. All it was was a sheet over the the bathroom. No shower curtain. My baby, what you gonna do with that? Stink. What's going on? Take me home. Take me home. Yeah, take me home. So yeah. After that, I've never seen that guy ever before in life. Ever again. But he would still hit me up, ask me, hey, what you doing, what you doing, what you doing? And I would just be like, mm, -mm. So I don't know why. Today he texts me and he texts Ricky with like a whole bunch of eyes and I'm just like, what's up? And he's just like, hey, I know you know I was doing that taxes thing or whatever. Um, I probably should have read this like word for word, but basically he was saying that he was doing the little scam with the taxes where he can get you like 20K or something with the taxes. And he had did it for one person. Well, he did it for multiple people, but one of the people that he had did it for, she had ended up going to jail. I mean, I didn't ask about it, but I'm guessing not because of this. She went to jail, so um, he wasn't able to get the money out of her bank account, um, but he was still trying to figure out ways how to get the money. So he was basically like paying bills for people and you would just um, pay him like basically like half of it or something like that. And then, um, yeah, so he was like basically doing like half off and stuff. So he's just like, yeah, if you got a bill, I'll pay it and then you only pay half. So yeah, that's what it was. Um, but I end up still telling him no, like I don't trust it. Long story short, I told him no. He was upset about it. So he's just like, um, cause yeah, when he said it, I'm like, no, but you can tell me. Cause I feel like that's legit. If somebody tells you from their account, like even if it's like not legit money, it's just like that sale has already been sent now, that's your problem. You know, it's not mine. Like, I don't know. So I'm just like, yeah, like a sale. And he's just like, no, like I'll pay your bill. Like I can even like pull up, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, you're not pulling up to do nothing. So. He's just like, cuss me out. So I'm gonna put the, like, the text, cause I'm just like, wow. And me, like I, yeah, I think, yeah, I said it in here, I'm not a confrontational person, so I'm just laughing emojis, you know? Because this is just funny to me, like, the audacity, the audacity. So I'm like laughing. And he's like, basically like, wow like you think this is a scam blah 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 and i'm just looking like yeah so yeah he's just like by dyke and then he like blocks me i'm like so mad because i'm just like how you gonna block me and not let me say anything good like i had some good stuff to say like i was really about to like that ass like i'm about to have your chest hurting with the stuff i was about to say because i was i was gonna say something because like i said me giving the backstory was just so y'all was able to know the type of things i could say but yeah that is the end of this story thank you for watching